it's Tanya with Scribbles and Time. I'm here today to show my latest book that I've created and to do a flip through of it. Hopefully it will be a quick video. Um, the, the book is um, similar to the style of the last book that I posted. I did go with a different theme on this one. Um, as you can see, there's going to be birdhouses, um, old keys. You can see scissors poking out of the side. Um, lace. I'll, I'll kind of do a flip through and show you all of the different elements that kind of makes up the theme of this book. Um, the measurements of it, now this does not count the, the scissors that act as, you know, page tabs, as I sometimes do. This does not count the measurement of those. The book from spine to edge is somewhere around seven and a quarter inches. And then on height, not counting the scissors, and we're not going to count the lace here. It's right about nine inches. The spine is two and a quarter. And I'm going to try to catch the light right on this. The, the front image is a birdhouse. And if I can catch the light right, you'll see I did the Mod Podge and I tried to do brush strokes um, so that you can see in person. You can see that there's um, like a cross hatch of brush strokes in the Mod Podge. I, I love doing that. To me, it just gives the, the picture a very um, kind of a more artsy look almost like a painting. The front here has a key um, attached to it, which is just a generic key, but it is attached to a tile that to me is, is kind of historical. It came from a, um, there's a little town that I live next to, it's um, called Griffin, Georgia, and they are demolishing an old building from, I believe it's from either the late 1800s, early 1900s, but um, this tile, they, they were demolishing the building, and I found this one little tile laying there, um, so I picked it up, and so this tile came from that. I've kind of been hoarding it for a little while, waiting for it to speak to me for a project, and this was the one. So you can see the image here on the birdhouse, the tile with the key, there's cardboard, there's some very pretty lace here on the front, and um, some ledger paper here and then um, it says April the 1st entered. The spine is very layered again like I've been doing with my my themes and then the back I can show you the back it has the little tape measure um, trim coming down the, the back side of the spine and the back is pretty plain which I did intentionally on this one. To me, I wanted the spine to kind of speak for itself. I didn't want anything else on the back because I thought it was going to get a little bit too busy. You can see the layered um, lace that's coming from the first um, page of the mixed media section of the book. There's a charm here of a tree hanging out of the journaling section of the book. And then hanging out of the mixed media center is um, two little beads. And they're little white um, glass style beads. And I believe uh, there's a little bit of the woven material that was part of the spine of this book that's here on the inside that I'll show you in just a moment. So I used a little bit of that woven spine material to go there just to add. In person, you can see it a little bit better. It's hard to see it on the video. But from the side, it looks like this. From the top and from the bottom. Okay, and when you open it up, um, this is an old postcard with a picture of an empty chair. And this is a, a pen here with an old style clock on it. It looks like kind of like an old pocket watch. And then um, some crochet doilies. A little bit of lace doily, I believe that is. And behind it is a lot of mixed media, and it's all on mixed media paper. Um, now, I did do a, a scissor kind of a theme in this book, and so I handmade holsters for the scissors to go into because I, I didn't want the, you know, pointed part of the holster, I mean, the pointed part of the scissors to be, you know, any type of a safety concern. So this just kind of weaves from behind the scissors, and the scissors slide out like that. And then that slides back in. This feeds back through here. And the scissors slide down. 
and then this locks back onto the button holding the scissors into place like so the postcard is let me get it around the button before we move forward the postcard is an original postcard hold that up so you can see and then um, I can't make out what well, says 1955 but I can't make out the writing on it it says dear Jimmy and the rest of it is beautiful writing but I just can't make it out a few words here and there on the bottom of this page I created some little photo corners and a little um, uh, piece of cardstock coming behind this lace for the postcard to slide back into but I didn't want to attach the card because I wanted you to be able to pull it out and see what's on the back now this side is an old book I do not remember the copyright on this book um, but it's old and when you open it up I left the inside as it was let me slide it over a little bit so you can see and then there's not a, as much journaling space in this one I tried to do this with more of an eclectic theme on the journaling portion most of the time on this style book I, I put just um, plain journaling coffee dyed paper here but I did more of an eclectic style on this one there's a bag wrap paper music paper and I just wanted to go with more of an eclectic theme in the center there is music paper and that's where that charm is hanging from that I showed you from the outside of the book and there's the other side of the bag and there's an old bingo card in that I tried to put some old stuff in here the back of the cover of this book let's see some of the glue has attached there we go you can see the back of the cover it looks like a little bit of crayon there which I love that because that's just part of the um, the originality of it I love that so that is the back of that book there and I used the same cover in front but I did remove the spine of the book and put a little bit of the muslin there and then I used the spine it's somewhere buried in over here I believe it's underneath this area it was a very skinny one and it was also very worn and as I was sewing it all together it was brittle there's that let's space it back out so you can see so then this section is more of the multimedia pages so we'll flip through that real quick again this is the first page the second page there's another sticker here of an old clock with all kind of um, collaging here in the background you can see the stitching it's hard to see on camera but in person there's stitching coming across where the lace is sewn on and um, some hand stitching here where the scissor holster is sewn onto the page and then this is a dolly this is um, it has just an image of an old style telephone and um, old ledger and just a lot of collaging on this page the center I thought was just I used one of the pages that had to me beautiful collaging and I used some really really old um, lace ribbon coming down the side here I guess that's kind of a crochet trim you can tell I don't know my fabrics <laughs> but you can see that it has kind of a pink tone to it which on this you can kind of see the kind of a red pinky color print on that so I just thought that went well and then this is the um, spot where one of the beads is hanging out and the other bead is hanging in the center of the next signature so on this page there's another birdhouse with more collaging some dictionary paper um, some gesso all kind of inks um, this is a little wooden um, I don't know what you call these little discs there is a name for them but I, I can't think of the name but it's a little wooden disc on the top corner here of that page and then the other side of that crochet dolly this is another pair of scissors some birds and then I just did a snippet here with all different kind of this is actually fishing net that um, I got at an antique store it was not used but it was very old fishing net that I got at an antique store in Panama City Beach 
Um, this is a little piece of a wood chip right there. And just a lot of the paper. I did layers here with a snippet coming down the side. Another handmade holster for that pair of scissors. And then when you flip this page, the other side I did um, pockets. This is the last page of the first signature and the first page of the second signature. So I did matching pockets on each. And I did um, a little spot behind each pocket um, or each photo and just put some authentic ephemera in those. And it doesn't matter which side they go on. I just kind of tucked them in just to add some, some um, eye clutter is what I call it. Inside is um, just different pieces. This is old, an old book page on the back. Now there is collaging behind that. But the book page is very brittle, so I'm not going to slide it in and out of the pocket. The pocket does have enough. I mean, there is, it's loose enough that you can remove that. And there's collaging there to show but I'm not going to keep removing the paper because it is so brittle. This is also very old stationary paper. An old postcard, 1945. And there's the front of that one. And I put it up this way so that the stamp and the writing shows. I just tuck that there. It said happy time on this one, and I was trying to also do like an old clock theme in this. So... I put that there for that purpose. This is a picture of a bird cage. Another postcard, another piece of the stationery and the book page, but there's also collaging behind this. So even if the pockets were emptied, you know that it's still very pretty on its own. Another of the old tickets. The bird cage and another postcard. And this one is also 1945. And when you flip this page, I did, um, there's a Basset Hound, little pendant right there, hanging off the page. So cute in person. And then I did a um, fabric, that's upholstery fabric, but I've done a little tuck area coming off the side of the page. And then I put some trim coming down the side of that. And then inside of this, I just tuck, I, I, again, I call it eye clutter. I tuck all kind of pages in here. There is collaging behind it. It's a tree. If I can get that. And then this is a page from the book here that's in the front. So, oops, I flipped it all out. So this is a page from that book, and it is pretty brittle itself. I was going to look to see if there was a copyright on this, but I don't see a copyright on this either. And um, it's not in English, and I can't tell you what that all says, <laughs> but there's that. And then I just layered in another old book page, which is also not English. Here, and I try to layer it so that the different print shows. And then a um, piece of stationery. A card with some chairs, a little piece of stationery with chairs on it. A little library card and another postcard. And oh, and then I did a an old clock and I kind of went with a April birthstone there in the center. With a little clock face there just for some visual interest this is another crochet dolly and then on this page is the last pair of scissors with another handmade holster for the scissors um, it's hard to tell in person but this is the same style of scissors as this pair here but just different um, finishes this one has more of a i believe it was um, called like a copper finish and this is more of a um, brushed nickel or kind of an um, uh, antique nickel finish there on this pair and then in the background of the collaging you can see an old farmhouse and then I have a man sitting at his writing desk 
When you turn this page, there's a corner pocket. And again, I went with kind of an April theme in this one. And then there is collaging on the page behind the tuck spot. So if I were to ink to, oh, and this is the center of the signature, so there's the other bead. And then if I take all of this out, you can see that the center is um, completely collaged and is pretty on, in, in and of itself as the corner tucks. And on this side, I had the book page. I just think that that blends really well with the background. An envelope with a wax seal. Um, this is a, just an old flash card. And then this is a little piece of cross stitch of a flower. And it's on some really thin fabric. It's, it's pretty old. I, I believe this is from the 60s or 70s, I believe. Um, and I just put it on a little card backing to give it some stability and slid it right in there. And in all honesty, I, there was many places I started to attach this um, to pages. And I thought that the new owner could make that decision himself if they choose to. Um, it could be attached to a page anywhere, which is another reason I'm glad it has the paper backing. It can just be glued down anywhere. But I didn't make the decision of where to put it. I slid it into this pocket and it can stay there or someone can glue it to the page. On this side in the tuck spot is again, this little April poem. Just slid into the background. A book page. A postcard with some horses. And just a um, catalog card. And then the um, other side of the dolly. On this page, there's more collaging. And then there's a four and a one there at the top. And then the last page also has collaging. Oh, my little doggy's going to bark. I'm sure there's a squirrel outside. Um, and that completes the flip through. I feel like I went really fast, but that's, that's all that needed to be done just to show everything that was in it. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. And um, thank you all for watching. Y'all have a blessed day.